Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a minute since I sat down and just talked to you guys about products and I have been a loyal fan to a lot of products lately. These have been on heavy rotation. I've been using them every day for the last two months plus. So I thought we would do a springtime favorites video. I am a product junkie fanatic if you are new here my name is fortune welcome i'm a certified professional makeup artist be sure to watch this video watch other videos of mine and if you haven't done so yet make sure that you subscribe and click the bell next to it this way you get a notification every time i'm uploading a new video here on my channel i've been uploading a ton of shorter videos lately you know like reels tiktoks so i'll put all of my other handles down below so you can follow along i do a lot of makeup tips because i am just all about the makeup and skincare and we have have a lot of it in front of us, but these are like my holy grails. So without further ado, let's get ready for the day. It is Easter when I'm filming this. I love this dress. I got so many compliments. Mike and I went to Napa and I wore this and everyone, like everyone was just like, oh, beautiful dress. Some of them didn't even say it to me. I heard them whispering about me to others and it was like, Yes, I want my face to match how fabulous my outfit is. So let's go ahead and hop right into the video. I cannot start this video without just paying homage to my skincare that I have just been loving. So I don't think I've talked about this one anywhere. This is the Gold Fade In Solution Brightening Elixir Protect and Repair Brightening Serum, Vitamin C Serum. It is so good. It's a little sticky, but it's tacky, which makes it nice underneath makeup, doesn't peel underneath my makeup. It really does a nice job of priming and it pairs really, really well with my SPF Maraud Hydration. I've been talking about this forever. The Perfecting Day Cream SPF 30. Listen, I am very dry and in the spring it gets a little bit more, like the air is a little less dry, but still I need a lot of hydration. I need a lot of jutes to jutes up my skin. And this is just a really nice combo that I have been wearing. I also have this pimple right here. It looks like I have herpes, which I don't, but there's nothing wrong with those of you that may. I just, you know, and I feel it just needs to cover. It, I'm insecure about it. I'm just, I'm not loving it. My skin is really red. What am I doing? Let's talk about the products. I talked about the skincare. I also put on my NYX Plump It Up Limp Lip, Plump It Up Lip Plumper. It is on my lips. I love it. This is like a must apply before I do my makeup every day because it just, by the time I'm done with my makeup, which it really doesn't take long. This is a very quick makeup routine. My lips are just so juicy and plump and just hydrated and it fills in the lines so I have less wrinkly lips. It's really, really nice. This is the concealer that I use when I want to do a little extra coverage. This is the NARS, just like whatever concealer this is, the Radiant... I'll put it down below. I'm in the shade Madeline Light 2.3. I got the travel size just because I've tried so many concealers lately and I haven't really liked any, but this one is really good and I've been enjoying it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this down the center of my face. Not a lot. Now I've been liking this concealer. I can't say it's like amazing, but it doesn't leave me looking really textured underneath my eyes. I don't know what I'm looking for in a concealer. Like if this was a dating app, I would say I want concealer that's creamy and hydrating, but doesn't crease too much because I do have a lot of fine lines, smiling and whatnot, like oh, whatever, it's fine. I just don't like when my makeup accentuates that, you know? Like I'm not trying to look different, I'm just trying to look better. Really into Merit, um, the perfection stick. Like guys, there are days where I do my makeup in literal two minutes. Like this is kind of the products that I do when I do my makeup very quickly. But sometimes I do it so quickly that it's like really impressive. So this is the Merit Perfecting Stick in Dune. This is the lighter shade that I use and I kind of just poke it right where I need it. And I pick it up from the tube and apply it directly underneath my eye. And I'll show you the difference. I kind of just use this to add a little bit extra coverage and this has a nice slip to it. And then I bought a darker shade that's like a little bit darker to match the foundation or like match my skin more and just watch how this just like gets rid of the redness so quickly and i'm just gonna do this half again so i can show you the difference really nice natural makeup that covers really well that feels really comfortable that like doesn't accentuate anything too too much but just like look at that half of my face is this not like so totally impressive
And then I just want to take a little bit of redness out over here, but not too much because I am going to put bronzer and some cream blush and I kind of use that as coverage as well. Like even though there, it's not supposed to cover anything, blush just covers up a little bit of imperfections. You know what I'm saying? Blends in with the skin. It kind of like plays with the skin complexion. Now I'm going in with Merit in the shade Terracotta. This is a blush, but I'm using it as I would a bronzer and I'll show you on this side of my face. Oh my God, I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything today. I just realized that right now. Guys, I'm trying to lose weight. Not that th that is appropriate because I'm not trying to starve myself. I just have been running around all morning trying to fit all the things in before Easter begins and I forgot to eat. But I'm trying to lose a little weight. Mike and I went to Napa. We had the most beautiful time. Oh my God, I rode a horse. I drank a ton of wine. I ate a lot of things. Sorry, I'm very chit chatty, but look at this bronzer, see? It's not bronzer though, it's blush. It's a really nice color for me, you know? So we rode horses and my horse, he was a fatty. Like he was short, but he was round and he was large, like width wise. Oh God, what was her name? I don't remember what her name was. She was like, don't let him eat the grass. This mother effer. And you know how you have the reins and it's in their mouth? She was like, pull really hard to the opposite side when he goes down to eat grass. I was pulling with all my might. Like he was pulling me off of him. And Mike and the trainer in the front were just like, pull him tighter, pull him tighter. This horse knew that he could just throw me off if he really wanted to continue eating the grass. And the two of them doubted my abilities, but then Mike was directed to go behind me because we were in a line because apparently horses are very territorial and it needs to go in like a hierarchy. Interesting, I learned a lot about horses. Now I'm taking Merritt and Beverly Hills, just applying this as blush and I'm keeping it to the back of my face. And I'm also gonna put some on my brow bone. Um, my horse's name was Cash. Mike's horse's name, oh God, what was his name, Zeus? Mike ended up having to follow behind me with his horse and he saw how much effort I was putting into the horse. I have bruises all over my body. Do you see this? Do you see this bruise from horseback riding? Because that horse kept stopping to eat the grass and I was literally like over him like this yanking on the reins. He had what? An iron mouth? That's what my mother-in-law said. An iron mouth where when you pull that it's supposed to hurt them and it's supposed to direct them but he gave zero Fs. It didn't hurt him at all. But anyway, that was fun. Um, I put a lot of blush on, but it's okay. And I'm just gonna, you know, tap out any of the creases underneath my eye and on my lid. And then I'm gonna set it using my Tati Beauty, which I'm sad that Tati Beauty no longer exists. Like, I really enjoy that eyeshadow. Where is my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder? I look good in orange and blue, do I not? I feel like it's really nice for my complexion. I don't know why none of you said anything. No one has said anything about this color and I just feel alive. And I also really want my Sephora brush, which I've been using a lot. Clearly I did not come prepared for this video. I'm just having a good old time and I'm hoping that you're in for the ride because why else would you be here? <laughs> oh my God, I'm crazy sometimes I think. And now I sound like my aunt and I sound like my mother. That's scary. Sephora brush, yes. I just like kind of feel high on life a little bit today, but also with a lot of anxiety. It's like very weird. I had a really nice weekend though, as I hope you did or are. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier translucent setting, translucent setting powder on my Tati Beauté, which these are so nice. I love a puff. I'm just gonna take this down the sections of my face that I don't want to get shiny or that I don't want to move. Just like a little bit, you know? Just to set it and forget it. I'm kind of just letting my brows live their best life. This brow gel helps me keep my brows. Like, does that make sense? I feel like other brow gels that I've used, for some reason, they get like stuck in my brow hairs and then when I try and get it out, it kind of fights back with me. It kind of rips some of my brow hairs out, but this formula, my brows look fuller naturally, like with nothing in them. You know what I'm saying? It kind of just fluffs them and makes them look really, really natural. This is really up there in favorite Merit products. I'm very excited to try more of their things. Guys, seriously, they're expensive and you don't get a lot for your money. I did a whole review video on the Merit products that I'm using in this video. That's how much I love them. I've just been using them like every single day since I got them, which was like months ago at this point. 
but there's just something special about this brand. Tweezer Man Lash Curler. I've had this forever. I packed her to go to Napa with me. And ever since then, I don't know, she feels a little weird. Like, I think she got a little jacked up upon travel. Do you guys, like, watch YouTube videos? Like, who is genuinely here at, in the point of this video? Thank you for staying with me. But do you watch longer videos or do you not have time? Because, guys, I'm going to be honest. Like, oh, God, Jesus. As much as I say subscribe, ring the bell, watch my videos, and I genuinely want you to because hello, I'm here. I don't watch them. Like I used to watch um, in the fro, I used to watch her vlogs all the time. Tati, I always watch Tati's videos. So like Tati is my exception. So if I'm your exception, I'm really flattered and I need to upload more, but I just feel like nobody really watches longer videos, including myself. I've been like practicing Italian and trying to learn how to do things like accelerate myself and my career all those kind of like fun things I'm trying to lose weight so if you want to see more of like that kind of stuff let me know like just lifestyle things like I'm just trying to live my life the way I fantasize my, about my life. Am I good? Yes. For lips, I have a lot in rotation. Like I've been really loving this Dragon Fruit by Sugar Rush, which I think is by Tarte, but like I'm going through this very fast, which I like because I feel like I never really finish lip gloss in a timely fashion. I'm kind of shocked. It's really good. I like it. It's gel-like. It doesn't really keep your lips like super, super hydrated for very long in my opinion, but it looks really good. It makes your lips look really juicy. And Mike says like, oh, your lips look really good when I'm wearing it. Like he's like, oh, you put a lip gloss on. Like he notices that there's a gloss on my lips, you know? Really been loving these Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencils. This is in the shade Up and Down Tan. Yeah, I've been liking this as a lip liner. Just something about the color. It's like a pinky peach, but like the tone is just really right. Do we love lipsticks? Do we love a lip combo? Cause I gotta be honest, I really love me a lip combo, which is why I upload one every Monday here on my channel, on my Instagram. I just, ooh, something about a lip. Let's look in my purse though, because my purse holds the truth. First of all, hello, lady enter the chat. This is my pre-loved lover that I bought on Fashion File. She is a beaut. I apps she I just I am bougie, which you know this, okay? And I love her. Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. Staple. This is the lip liner I wore last night, Boldly Bare. Another staple that I've been wearing a lot. And these two are pretty similar, Boldly Bare and Up and Down Tan. Boldly Bare is a little bit more mauve-ish pink. Peachy Nude, Flower Beauty, love her. Let's put a little bit of her on, just in the center. Just like that, that's how I've been using her. Great Drugstore Nude, this is in Sandstorm. So these have been my lip liner jams lately. MAC Boldly Bare, Makeup Forever, Up and Down Tan, and then NYX in Sandstorm. Those have been my three go-to lip liners. You know it, cause they're in my lady. On the day-to-day, -day, regular real life, when I'm just trying to look better, this is how I look better. If you enjoyed this video, do be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. Leave me some love in the comments. What are some of the products that you use every single day? I would love to hear what products make you help you feel your best, your most beautiful, while also looking like yourself. Make sure that you subscribe and click the bell before you leave. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you want Merit products, I will leave my link down below. It is an affiliate code. I will get a little bit of commission. However, I love these products regardless whether you buy them or not. It does not matter about the money that I may or may not make. I would not tell you something was good if I didn't think it was good. But yeah, I had a great time as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.